Hi guys. So uh, while I was cleaning my table, I found this script. A script for my speech when I was invited to speak in front of first year BSA and BSMA students in my university. Uh, by the way, I'm outside our house. It's raining uh, with thunders. I usually have a complete video, like the full video of my speech. I'm gonna post it on August 12th, the day I was invited to speak. So it's, I just realized it's a five page speech and the video actually took 20 minutes, so. Good morning, future CPAs and CMAs. Let me remind you and let me put it in your mind. 
clear now, and in case you don't realize yet, okay, what's the living room era for you guys, you are enrolled in BSA or BSA. You have taken up the challenge, so you have to commit not only to your degree programs, but also to yourselves. According to the pop map, the GPA created, in the talk, she will share with us her journey and provide tips and tricks that will truly make your life as an accountancy student more fun and exciting. Do I look like I'm having fun? No. <laughs> Contrary to what GPA wants me to say today, I will not be enumerating tips or tricks so that we can survive first year. Because if you want, you can go to the YouTube, subscribe to YouTube, and watch my videos. <laughs> the vlog. <laughs> but today, I will share with you how to battle over it and win against your own minds. As a typical overachiever in high school, I was always used to doing the most. I don't settle for the bare minimum. For me, mistakes equate to incompetence. So even though I didn't really choose accountancy for myself, I was somehow confident that I could still make it out here alive because I believe I was smart enough. But obviously, I was wrong. In high school, the goal is to have straight A's and perfect scores. I feared failure. I remember if ever I get that into your mistakes, I'll break down. But in college, and I believe that I can speak for every BSA student here, that getting the passing score is already a feat of itself. It's something you can already be proud of. It's not enough to just be smart, because your academic performance in high school doesn't always guarantee that you'll do well or perform well in college. In high school, I've always been very competitive. I always made sure I secured a top one spot Which surprisingly inspired a lot of people. 
people. And it's where I discovered that I still have this creative, creative side of me that I actually never lost it. I was so immersed about surviving accountancy that I forgot I can also still be creative. I also joined JPIA as an officer last school year, even when I made the vow to myself never to join any orgs so that I can focus on my academics. But it was actually by far the best decision I've ever made since starting college. Also, it's like meeting my old self again, knowing that I am still capable of doing things besides academics. A reminder that I have a life outside accountancy. So I hope you all find your healthy distractions as well for the next four to five years in whatever means possible. Like hanging out with your friends at least once a week, watching your favorite movies, anime, series, spending time with your significant other, and if you're single like me, pick yourself up on a date. Because you'll never get this time back. After college or after getting that license, you probably be your working year out already. So enjoy student life, celebrate small wins, and treasure the moment. I know you won't be able to remember everything I just said, but hopefully, you will remember the next few lines I'm about to tell you. Whenever your plans don't work out, start by working on yourself. When things get hard, don't be too hard on yourself. Whenever you feel like you're not doing enough, I hope you always remember you are still enough and feeling will not make you less of a person. We still have a long way to go. My story isn't over. Your story is about to begin. And a lot of things can still happen. But I genuinely pray we all make it to wherever we want to be in the future. Whether as CPA, as a CMA, whatever God has intended for us. Whatever it is, I hope we never lose ourselves in the process. And I said, may we all find better versions of ourselves May we all not just survive, but also thrive. And may we never lose faith in God. I'll be ending this with a quote that got me through my darkest days in accountancy. Remember, the minute you take your first step into the life of your dreams, the first to greet you there will be fear. So if you're scared, just do it scared. I'll be praying for you. Please pray for me and thank you so much for listening. Just